What's up, folks? Welcome to the channel, Rockin' the Country. I'm Don. We're going to have, this is going to be something special today. I have no doubt about it because Hank Williams III requested this personally that I react to this song, which he just put on his channel yesterday. So by the time you see this, depending on when I post it, it will have been probably about three days ago, uh, maybe just two, if I can get all the editing done and such. But the name of the song is Dedicated to String Bean, D-E-A-D-I-C-A-T-E-D. -E -E Those of you who don't know the story, which I didn't, I looked it up on String Bean, what the deal was here, I'm going to read to you a quick Wikipedia entry on who String Bean is. David Aikman, better known as String Bean, was an American singer-songwriter, musician, comedian, actor, and semi-professional baseball player best known for his role as a main cast member on the hit television show Hee Haw and as a member of the Grand Ole Opry. Aikman was well known for his old-fashioned banjo picking style, careful mix of comedy and music, and his memorable stage wardrobe. Aikman and his wife were shot and murdered by burglars in their rural Tennessee home near Ridgetop in 1973. Hank, Hank III, Hank, uh, that's how I refer to him in this video, Hank wrote this because evidently a pastor or minister was the one who bailed their murderer out of prison. I don't know anything else beyond this. So, And from what I could tell, it looked like Hank played the banjo and is singing the lyrics on this song. So uh, we're going to get into it. I'm not rating it because this is dedicated to somebody, to the memory of this man, and calling out evidently whoever he's calling out for getting the murderer out. And I'll put the link to Hank Williams III's channel as well. No pain. Not even sure how I'll edit this so that you could read it. Maybe you could go back and pause the video yourself. But the psychiatrist who evaluated him said that he's a homicidal maniac, a homicidal maniac who would just continue killing if he got out. So I didn't know this story. This was in 1973. I was 12 at the time and wasn't paying any attention to this. I was just riding my skateboard and and playing basketball and tennis. That was my thing. All right, here we go. <laughs> Mm. 
Oh, that had to have been a reference to the preacher who threw this guy's bail. I think that's the bits of pieces that I've got. That hat, lying when you pray. Huh. Yeah, no, Hank definitely called him out on that. Satan and God got drunk and changed their place. Cow, that was that was action packed. That was intense. Just knowing a little bit of the backstory of it and a very little bit of the backstory of it. I mean, I got the gist, but the images, whew, the editing on that, how you chose the images. I mean, heck, if you happen to see this thing, I don't know who you know did all this, but there was a lot that went into it. And the hee haw, I mean. Wow, the footage, unbelievable. Man, it's almost like, what did I just experience? That was like, I've commented on other, on other reactions that some songs are so well done, so concise, paint such a picture that it's like you've seen a Hollywood movie, you know, a two-hour Hollywood movie in three minutes. But this was like a week-long, you know, TV series. In three minutes or four minutes. Goodness. I love the banjo playing on that, by the way. There was a lot going on there. It sounded different, too, than today's banjos that you hear. And I don't know if that was purposeful or just that my ears aren't so well attuned to banjos. But it seemed like the sound was different, a little different. That's one of these things that I probably have to watch five times to be able to have intelligible or intelligent commentary on it. So I'll leave you guys comments on it. Some of you folks will absolutely know this story. I didn't know the story, as I said, of spring, string bean because I didn't watch Hee Haw growing up either. But at age 12, I mean, Vietnam was just sort of coming to an end and I was barely aware that Vietnam was even going on because that's what happens when you're eight, nine, 10 years old. You're not paying attention to world events. You're just wrapped up in your own world. But it does look like in the end there that they eventually captured and arrested him. But Hank, this, this was directed at a preacher who I, I think that I read that somewhere, maybe on your page, that the guy who threw his bail and got him out. Uh, whew, I'm going to leave this one be right now. That's a lot to take in. But I'll put the link to Hank's page over there and you guys can go over and read the comments, comment yourself, show him some love and support too. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. That was intense. I'm not rating it. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country. <laughs>